Always the same idea for everybody. Uh, now we'll be, it was funny because I was speaking with a student earlier. She said, oh, I see the videos. You, just will, you always start the same way. We say, yeah. The main idea is to incorporate in our body an idea, right? It's how we're supposed to move. And by little, it will, the body will accept it, right? Because we have to understand by little, maybe by here, and then by repeating, and then by going. So now, I always talk about the hips, right? Uh, and the, the humans, we move the hips to sustain the balance, right? So I say, let the hips move. Don't move the hips. Because sometimes teachers say, move the hip, and we do this. No. Because that, you wiggle in the tendon, then it's not good for the column, right? So let the hips move. Yeah? Let's keep the foot a little bit open. Open the feet a little bit. And let's transfer the way for the side to side and let the hips do the job. Don't make it the legs move, do the job. And you're gonna see how the head moves, but not as much of the navigation of the hips. The hip is farther out and the body of the head is still very much in center line with the pelvis and with the maximum of the axis is moving. So you're gonna move the foot a little bit to the side, a little bit more bigger, the feet, right? So you're gonna have to see how the axis got stuck, right? Because I don't bend my knee, I don't stretch, I don't do anything by now. So that my, I feel my axis, oh, it got stuck. So you need to feel that stuck. So the hip cannot go no more than that. So that's what your body should be right now. Doesn't mean it should be permanently there. It should, by now, in this moment, now it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. So we're gonna put the feet a little bit more open. And now we are less, we can move the hip. <laughs> and so we have it like a feeling the flexor, we got stuck. So now we have to go there. Just to go there, my body gonna go, my hip is gonna go, and my heel, it will come out, out of the ground. So my heel, my heel coming out of the ground because of the distance of the body, not because your instructor say it. And I am not doing this. Right? I try to maintain the same idea. I gotta put my way down there to the heel to the floor because my axis is go there and I'm gonna pick the heel out. And again down there and the heels coming out. So I say heel out to the ground, heel back to the ground, shift to the way center, heel out, heel back. But see, that's the maximum we got right now because uh, your teacher say keep uh, the foot there. If we, I want the feet together, I won't bring my foot together. I'm gonna bring my axis more into the balance point. So see, my body will collect or we go gathering together, or my feet gonna get together because my body say it, not because uh, this guy standing up over here talking say it. Your body say it. This move, see my body moves, my leg want to move, then I move. Heel, my body got here, my leg got here. The body moves, the leg goes. Hip traveling, hip arrive, axis pull up, leg together, body move, leg goes, heel down, heel up, hips together. And I know in as a sound that, the more you do that training for you, the more you're gonna start to feel how old your body is leading you to walk. But remember the humans, we walk because we lose balance. We lose the balance, that's the reason that we walk. We're not walking because we are in balance, right? For example, I wanna give you one uh, funny example. I like caricatures, right? I like to do the bad thing. If in my back is here, I'm gonna walk like this, right? And this is not how we walk. We walk because the body moves. So my body moves, my legs goes because I try to prevent the eye fall. But now, in the dancing, what we do, we put the more elegant feet, more delicate stuff and things. So say here again, <laughs> move the body, let go, arrive. Move the body, let go, arrive. Now we're here, so you're not ready, we're gonna go to the fourth floor, we're gonna cross to the other side, we're gonna go down, 
fit together, we let it go, arrive, up straight to the fourth, back, we go there, arriving, up straight to the fourth, down, together. If you lose the balance, good, found, that means you're human. If you didn't lose the balance, <laughs> you're going to start to doubt and say, oh, don't use the pole, don't use the pole, don't use the pole, don't use the pole. <laughs> there you go. Balance. We, we lose the balance, it's good. We're going. We are arriving. Up. It's, don't cry, Susie, don't cry. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> so now, we're going to go. Pick in the back, boleo forward, together, side. Pick in the back, boleo forward, together, side. Pique, boleo, together, side. Pique, boleo, together, to the side. Pique, boleo, together, to the side beautifully let's go from here to some of you who are new so you know when i talk about the number four or, or something like that in this exercise i just picture in a building with four floors and this is in a stairs or elevator this is the first floor and the halfway to the machine is the second floor underneath my knee the third floor above my knee the fourth floor as so we go to the four for the third for the second for the first, and we go to the next building, the next door. So we have a third floor, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, first, side, and first, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, and first, and the building, we first, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, first, and the side, first, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, and the first. Good. Again here, first, second, third, fourth, fourth, third, second, and the first. Good. Relax the leg a little bit. We're gonna go with the forward lapises. I'm gonna take it for the cross. The lapis is gonna go illustrating to the side, to the back. We're gonna come back together. The heel is gonna brush the arch of the standing leg to go to the other side. That's the lapis out. Heel out the ground, heel coming to the ground, heel on the ground touching the arch, go to the front, the front of the foot, together. That's the foot brush out there, the heel coming out of the ground because of the distance. Let's keep it out of the ground because of the distance. When it's coming in, the toes coming in, heel to the ground, and brushing the other foot, together. Right? So why I say the heel on the ground here? Because sometimes the people do, I'm going to do a lapis. No. You go with that drawing on the floor, like a painting, very nice with a big brush. And then the heel coming out, big pointing on the brush and the last point to the end. And then it's coming the toes inner, heel to the floor because the body asking for. Remember, all of this is because your body asking for it, not uh, me asking. Right now, here, the other leg. We go out, all the way to the back. Toes to the ground, heel brushing the arch, into the center, and again, out there. Lapis out there. Be careful when you're going to, from here, to don't go with the heel, okay? Sometimes it happens that we're gonna confuse, <coughs> we're going with the heel. Now, le leg, the legs rotate out, and then the femur will relax to the leg can sustain the position. 
right? But if we go back here, usually it's gonna happen a lot. This is normal. We need to keep it, the heel more in that direction, right? Why it happened this? Because it's normal for the body to do that in the back, yeah? But as a dancer, we're gonna put this here. You're gonna put toes down, heels inner, heel all the way around the feet, then toes out, all the way to the back there, heels inner, and we're gone. And again, lap is there, and down, and lapis, 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 beautiful, so we other leg, we're going to do back lapises. So you're gonna have a back lapis into the cross in, right? We're gonna go around and we're gonna go back again. Again, oh, there. Foot down flat. Don't end in here, right? And then flat. Then you bring the foot in, around. Heel, heel there, all the way back. Heel out to the ground. We rotate it. the heel coming to the ground here because we, the distance is short. From here we keep the foot flat, we go with the heel like a reason the arch, arch there, heel of the standing leg, the, uh, the heel of the standing leg is like a reason the three leg arch, and then the heel is out of the ground. Go all the way around and close and down, keep it this, a caris, touch your feet, love your feet, they love each other by right now, not all the time, but today they love each other. And we go around, into here, all the way back, around, inner, and one more time. And then this one, let's change the way, and let's go the lapis there. Inner, surrounding, heel. Inner. Good. Last one here. One more, one more, one more. And then I'm gonna be happy, I promise. I well, no promise, but it's okay. Here we go. Now, the crazy ochos, right? I say ocho, but you're gonna put, it's a forward cross. It's part of the morinete very much, but you're gonna forward just forward cross and open steps. That means the turn is gonna be always to the left right now. So it's a forward cross here, we pivoting. We walk forward and we continue rotating to the left. I go into the right and come back to the left. Mind to say the turn is to the always to the left. I go forward to my right to the left and I go to the left to the left, pivoting in that leg and go over. So say to the left toward my right and to the left toward my left, pivoting and forward. To the left toward my right, to the left toward the left, and go forward. Now the other direction. Forward. Right to the right, I continue turning right toward the left and right toward the right and go forward, turning, front, pivoting, rotating, echoing. Very nice, everybody. Vamos, 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 don't get dizzy, don't cry. Can very soon we start dancing. Go, let's go to the left again. Left. Rotating to the left. For some of you who be in the lesson before, this is very much what happened and the movement that we were doing. To the right again. Right, right, right. And right, right, right. Beautifully. If you get dizzy, don't worry about it. Good? So now, let's go back a little bit. Forward ochos. Forward cross over here. The pivoting is not allowed, right? The main idea is to be progressing forward. So we pivoting some, but not too much. 
that later on we're doing something like this. No. Normal. See, right now my foot is pointing in that direction, my receiving, my receiving foot. So when I pivot in, I have my crossing in that direction, my next movement is going in that direction. So my pivoting is not a lot. It's a quarter churn. Right? It's a quarter churn. That way I can progress in to the front. Continue forward, everybody, continue, continue. Everybody got to the end over there, that's very good. So here we're gonna go backward, right? <laughs> so now, on the back, we're gonna do the same what we did last week. I know some of you are new, but we have to do it. We're going back, we're gonna pick the leg on there, torsion and drop the leg to the pivoting happen, right? That's the main idea where we try to process is how we pivoting, to make it easy to understand the body, how we can pivot in and easily and what we dance with our partner. Of course, we're not going to be picking leg with our partner later, right? but uh, <laughs> we pick the leg here right now and release. So you go there, pick the leg, you are in balance. Drop the leg, you pivot in. Pick the leg, you are in balance. Drop the leg, you pivot in. Back, pick the leg, you are in balance. Drop, pivot in. Back, pick the leg, you're in balance. Drop, pivoting. Back, pick, drop, pivoting. Back, pick, drop, pivoting. Beautifully. Let's go forward, ochos. We are in that direction, we pivoting very little. In that direction, we pivoting very little. In that direction, we pivoting very little. There, there, here. Here, continue forward, please, so I can see you a little bit. Point more than this side, Hima. You're going too much straight lining. All right, let's go back a little bit, please. <coughs> let's talk about that for a second, because it's very important. It has to do with the torsion. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <coughs> to face it toward you, and then we go back again to the forward arches. I torsion it, and my cross is there. It's not here. If I'm here, I f I, I'm... Woo! Balance Pack there. Let's say it has no problem with my button. Let's say going there. I pivot in. I go in there. Not here and see how I can sustain the loose line. No. There. Yeah? So let's go together. Forward arch. There. Let me see everybody. There you go, him. More here, him. Let the hip go here, him. Don't keep the hip opposite. Here the hips. Hey, there you go, padre. You feel that? Remember, in, in tango, we do not dissociate. I mean, we do sometimes dissociation. What does dissociation mean? It's an opposite direction movement. In tango, we have everything in the same direction. Yeah? Stay there for a second. Everything in the same direction. Look. My torsion go there. My tummy go there. My hip go there. My standing leg goes there, my leg goes there, my head goes there, everything goes there. I am not going opposite in here. I not try to account. And in other dance we do, I don't say no, over here, no, pop, here. Everything the same direction. We don't want to do this, because this is just flat, no. We torsion in, torsion is here, same direction. Everything the same direction, right? Not this. Don't do force. We don't want to snap on the churning. All right, let's try one more time. Ochos, there. Arrive, pivot in the little. There, arrive, pivot in this little. There, arrive, pivot in. There, arrive, pivot in. Pivot in. Pivot in. Pivot in. Go back. Back. Pick the leg. Drop. Pivoting back, pick the leg, drop, pivoting. If you lose the balance, good, found it. That's the way how you train your body to find your balance. You're gonna fall, then you stand up for the ground. <laughs> it's no problem. Good, forward again, last one, and then we dance.
Continue, continue. Be careful NASA with the hips, don't over twist it. Good there. Alright. That's it guys, thank you very much.